Hello and welcome to Starforge status. My name is Joltron and this is Starforge. So we've got a new update. Came out a few days ago. I'm a little bit late on putting out a video. Work's been busy, haven't really had time for making videos of games and such. But nonetheless, here it is. It's an awesome update. Uh, the meat, meat and potatoes of this update is right here, what you see. This is the infinite terrain demo. Currently, this isn't even in the single player mode. They said it was single player. Well, it is single player because I am a single player in here. However, it's not in multiplayer yet. It is not in the single player. If you click on single player, it will not give you this map. You have to do the infinite terrain demo. But nonetheless, it's in here. You can try it out. You can see what it's like and check out some of the other new features. The UI has had a large overhaul. It's 200. What I'm doing, I'm just gathering up resources. going to try to make a vehicle so I can cruise around and check things out while I talk. So one of the big things is the UI has had a large overhaul, as you may see. Uh, it's supposed to disappear. I can still see the bars up there. It's supposed to disappear eventually. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when it's not pertinent. When you don't need it, it's supposed to go away. Uh, possibly because I'm next to resources, it's keeping it there. So yes, there is this infinite terrain. I've already checked it out. I tried a couple different ones and it is different. It's randomly generated. This isn't the same map that I had last time. So yeah, Ooh, it even looks like there's a cave over there. So there's supposed to be caves and things like that you can troll around in check out see what what's inside of them might not be anything in there except for a glow worm or two but yes uh, let's see let's cover a few of the other features something I missed in the last update video was the uh, grenades in order to you can now craft them they're not unlimited you have grenades and glow sticks so you can craft those now what's this oops clumsy and around here all right, so one of the things I saw, a little tip for you, if you're trying to see how many resources you need to build something, just click and hold the craft button, and it'll tell you right there how many it needs. Okay, so you right click the item, and then click and hold it, and it tells you how many it needs. Uh, if you just right click, mouse over, doesn't do anything. If you click once, doesn't do anything. So yes, right click, click and hold, see how many it needs. And I can craft zero because I need 500 metal which metal do we have? Aren't these metal? Or stone. That's stone. Is this metal? What's this one? Ah, I think those are metal. Let's try to craft this right here. Nope. Is that not metal? Is this metal? I don't even know. That looks like stone to me. Oh jeez. Being a noob. Anyways, that's 400. Still not enough. So yes, you can craft the items. Uh, there is now a weather system. Thunderstorms, snowstorms, they said. I'm not sure if the snow actually will stick. That'd be awesome if it did. But I'm not sure if it does. Okay, what? How do I not have enough? Isn't this... Oh, man. I'm just sucking it up. I thought that was metal. That's fuel. Yes, of course that's fuel. That's wood. Maybe that one was stone. Maybe this is metal. I'll bring that over here and see. Uh, it might not be working. They did say they fixed the vehicle spawning, but there is the possibility that I'm having a slight hiccup here. Come on, baby, craft it. No, why is it not crafting? 500 metal. I have at least 500 metal. Come on. Whack. Well, forget it. So anyways, new weather system. There's that. Um, you can now craft things like that. You may notice the inventory is different. Uh, this has 
this inventory will change as you can see we've got groups here equipment and crafting as you get more equipment items in there more blueprints and such it will start to split them up so that you don't just have them all in equipment like for instance I believe if you have a bunch of guns those will then get their own subcategory in the equipment I think I could be wrong there but nonetheless I believe that's how it works so there is now the drag and drop items the UI inventory system had a big overhaul as I said previously um, all available blueprints show up now item stacks are no longer splittable but stacks no longer have a maximum capacity so you can infinitely stack and drag and drop items I said that you can now drag and drop them in between I'm just reading off the list here I didn't memorize all of this you can right click on the item to open a context menu and interact with it as you saw me doing that on the blueprints and blah 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 stuff like that we will check out the changes here so memory performance and improvements that have been made there's more assets capable of being streamed into RAM at runtime so if that means anything to you there you go uh, the Unused components have been cleaned out of the game that were just wasting RAM. That's always a good thing. Don't want unused components in there. Improved visuals day and night. As you can see, the big black smudge from the last video is now gone. Visuals are still fantastic. Lighting is incredible. Looks great. I'm trying to find a hole in the wall here. Something I can crawl through. Oh, yeah, it's just bleeding all the way. All the way there. That looks like a cave up there, doesn't it? I think so. Uh, credits have been updated. Just saw that on the list. It's fantastic. Everybody loves to read credits. There's a depth of field toggle now, so if the depth of field was causing you some run running issues, you can now turn that down. Trees are another setting option. You can turn up the tree density to make more trees. Currently, you can't harvest trees you can only look at them and use them for shade but yes they s have said in the update info that they know that you can't harvest trees right now they're working on it trying to figure out what the problem is and to fix it as soon as possible I'm well don't quote me on that I'm sure they probably know what the problem is the only problem is trying to fix it now that's the big part so yes I'm getting absolutely nowhere over here in this wall but nonetheless, I'm still going to travel through it. Oh, that one hurt. All right, so vehicles, uh, the gun still doesn't work, but they said that the spawn should work better. Maybe I just didn't have the right materials over there. I don't know. Uh, smoke, grades, smoke grenades. Those are in here. That's a smoke grenade right there, I believe. What's it take to make? 15 oil, 15 metal, and you can make a smoke grenade. Alright, so there you have it. That's about sums it up. There's a few things that I may have missed. You can check out all the patch info. Go through Steam, go to the forums, and right on the forums there. One of the forum moderators is very diligent with putting up the info on there. So yeah, you can check that out. So what I'm doing right now, if you're wondering, is just checking out this cave. Doesn't look like there's too much. Oh, did it just randomly generate more for me? So it doesn't look like there's too much in here. Once we can dig it, once you can dig, you can kind of build in here. As of now, I mean, you could build in here as it is, but you still cannot save the game, still can't play multiplayer, so that may kill that for you. But nonetheless, as you can see, the game is being worked on, patches are being released, stuff is looking awesome. I mean, just imagine having your home in this cave. It would be fantastic. So yes, looking forward to them adding save game. Uh, they, they have said multiple times they're, they know how much people want it. They know how badly people need it. How much they're crying, just needing it, wanting it. Give it to us. They know. They're working on it. And they'll have it soon enough. As you can see, patches are coming out more quickly now. It seems like they've gotten their build of the Unity engine a little bit more battered down so things should be coming out more quickly with the weeks to come especially with this 
terrain built. Once they get this in the game, it's just going to add tons and tons of stuff. A lot more replayability. It's going to be great. Alright, so as nighttime hits, I bid you farewell. Thanks for watching. My name is Joltron. This was your Starforge status. I'll see you next time.